today we're going to visit the Lennox Mines. And this is a mine that's located kind of sandwiched in between the area of US-2 and I-90. So we haven't actually explored this area yet. And uh, we're going off very limited information. So we're just gonna see if we can find it today. It's an old gold mine back from the 20th century or early 20th century, shut down by the war. And uh, not supposed to be super extensive, but there are reports of several adits that we're gonna see if we can check out. We're coming across our first artifacts. Looks like there's some... Found a mine? All right, well that was easy. Yeah, it's some ventilation tubing. Looks like there's a rail track. This must have been a bunker site, most likely. This is sketchy as fuck. This door, and there's a padlock on it, but the padlock is broken. Really? <laughs> you think someone lives there? Well, this is the portal I recognize from photos. Yeah, this is uh, the entrance to Lennox Mines. The tracks are still uh, here. All right, let's see what we find. Let's have a quick look around the area just outside the portal before we go in. This looks to be an old mine cart, pretty dilapidated shape. We've got various pieces of rusted metal. Looks like the, the remains of what might have been a bunker house or some kind of ore processing site. Did you say you found a... Uh, a uh, ventilation tubing or something? I think so. so uh, yeah. This is GoPro, so you're gonna have to speak up. This stuff right here is just a pile of junk, maybe some air, a uh, compressor, whatever that cylinder is. But there are tracks that go right here, and uh, if you follow them, if you follow them, uh, you can see a pipe coming out of the side of the hill, which is most likely connected to a drainage system inside of the mine. That would be my guess. Shall we check it out? Yeah. What's in here stays in here. All right, Lennox Mine. So, after you. So this mine dated back to roughly 1898, I believe, was when they first made the claim. And uh, gold, silver, lead. Oh, check this out. It's a mine salamander. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's a okay. big Yeah, he's uh, other two of them. Wow, that's kind of cool. All right. Well, we saw those that. in the Great Republic mine. Anyways. So gold, silver, lead, zinc, copper, and antimony was what they were aiming for out of this. But they didn't get much out of it because they had a very poor road network that was accessing this mine. It was also not successful because they shut it down at the start of the war because the ores weren't necessary for the war, having been primarily uh, gold and silver. But. Uh, the report says five different adits and two open cuts, but mostly uh, relatively short tunnels. So other than that, we're going on virtually no information. But as luck would have it, we found it. Seeing anything of interest, Colin? Some candles, that's about it. Yeah. Use candles. There are a lot of uh, probing holes where we've got cores for blasting or prospecting. But there are no grips uh, yet. And uh, all you can see is this. Basic thing that they were 
pretty unremarkable. So we have our That would tank be a compressor tank. Probably, yeah, for compressing, for uh, pumping, and barrels could have been... That's a pretty similar looking anything style to fuel. what we saw in Damon and Pythias. Yeah, just some pipes there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the uh, paint or something. Plastic. Thanks. More. Membrane. I think they briefly might have reopened some of the workings post World War II. That would explain some of the more uh, modern findings. Like that plastic bag and that plastic chairs outside. Yeah. Although this is old graffiti right here. Modern graffiti is. That looks like oil lamp graffiti. Yeah, modern graffiti never looks like that. It's the same thing from the. Uh, 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 Nonpareil. No end in sight yet. No drifts yet. Which is strange because normally the mines that produce a lot are rarely ever a straight tunnel. They're a uh, convoluted network of tunnels that. Well, this mine didn't produce hardly anything. Yeah, I think it's more of a prospect, really. That's kind of an interesting thing if you look at. If you look at the map of the whole Bear Basin area, they're almost all prospects. I kind of wonder why that is. Well, I mean, some areas were more successful than others, like Money Creek was looking at. But even that, they had the Sunset Mine just right by an well, index. That, that's not the Money Creek Mine District, that's the Index Mine District. But it was close. The Index Mine District was great. That's where they had the Sunset and the Copper Bell. And you would think so that they would get a hint after enough of these prospects failed, but I guess they were just really persistent. Yeah, index is something admirable about that. Index is special. Most of the other areas in the North Cascades are not great. And so this what, this what kind of looks like they had a collapse issue and they just moved. Yeah, what is what this is, doesn't look like it was intentional. They would have hauled the ore out if they were after the ore. And I don't see any veins. I mean maybe that one, but there's there's no copper or anything from that. That just looks like yeah. some kind of clay. Like what what is, did they literally just stab it in there to like an aquifer, or just to get the water from the uh, interstitial space? Yeah, that is weird. And huh. since there's water coming out of it now. I think that this literally might have just been a leaky spot, and they're just like, fuck it, we'll just Can you turn the it valve? Out. See if it opens anymore. There's any pressure to it. Or is it just rusted shut? Oh. Yeah, this thing won't budge. Rusted shut. That is kind of interesting, though. Shall we continue? back here. Now this looks like a collapse section. It has a ladder. That's that's kind of a modern looking ladder though. Yeah, it looks like it's made out of aluminum. Oh, that thing looks like it got beat up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely an newer ladder. What it's made think? out of aluminum and it's polished. What do you think happened to it? Um, there could have been a collapse in here that only affected this part. Oh, check this out. Here, take this ladder away. Got wedged up in there. Yeah. It's... <laughs> here. <laughs> what? Well, that could have been bad. Anyways, look at this. Look at those crystals. See that? Right there. What do you, what do you think that is? Um, because there's like a little, there are little caverns, little geodes. 
Whoa, look at that one right there. Yeah, those are... Those are crystallized. Cool. I don't know what of. But there's definitely quartz. Like, look at all this quartz. Right. I think those might be sulfur crystals. Just because of their shape, uh, texture, and yellow color. Maybe. I don't know. Some. It yes. might just be some kind of iron-rich material. That's, I've never seen that. Just check this one out over here. I saw a really good one. Let's see where did it go. Oh, right there. Right. Whoa. Check that out. Oh yeah, there. That's that's definitely quartz. Yeah. That's a little geode right there, built into the wall. Wow. So the yellow might just be contamination with this uh, yellow substance around here, which is it could probably be. sulfur. But something's making it form that weird crystal shape, the spherical crystals. Because quartz is more like that, it's more I mean, pointed. Yeah, it just could be the silicon or something. Uh, yeah. That's cool, though. This is like a crystal cavern. Yeah, and it's, the roof is actually interesting to look at as well. You see how it's just very striped? It almost looks like art up there. Yeah, I saw that. Looks like a rug. Well, kind of a cool finding. I didn't expect something like this. And we have really dark rocks. I, I think it is mostly sulfur, because if it's really dark right here, that's either, you know, what, shale or some type of uh, salt bait, so... Potentially. And, oh yeah, look at this. This is... That's definitely sulfur. See, that's yeah. that's the yellowish color. Look, look, look at that deep yellow right there. That's Almost sulfur. like dried egg yolk. 100% sulfur. I, yeah. I think that this whole place smells a little bit funny in some places, too, so... Uh, it's kind of let's let's look on the ground and see if we can find some samples. You know what? You see this? I'm Wait. seeing a shade of malachite. Oh yeah, that's kind of uh, greenish. Yeah, that must be some of that copper that they were talking about as a secondary ore. It's really light green. But I think it's like trace amounts of it. Yeah, probably. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, I, I found those. Those are some of the good samples. This side of the room just became the coolest nightclub inside of the mine. Nightclub? Yeah. Why is that? <laughs> like this one right here. Maybe one of those fell down into the debris. So we're gonna go see if we can find it next time. But the end of the tunnel is right in there. They didn't get too much farther after this point. But we're not gonna go in there. There's there's nothing in there. It goes back for maybe like 20 feet, and then it ends. This other sample here is good at uh, seeing why we think that these yellow crystals have some relationship to quartz, because these yellow crystals are occurring right alongside the uh, clear and uh, uh, transparent quartz crystals all over this sample right here. And so um, our best guess right now as a based from samples like these is uh, just that these crystals could be a uh, sulfur contaminated quartz or sulfate contaminated quartz but we'll be uh, consulting somebody to get more uh, information on the matter a uh, rock right here you can clearly see a vein of uh, pyrite in there the you know classic fool's gold color type we found some other uh, interesting colors of uh, pyrite in here some of which are more silvery, some of which are more orange, and some are more dull. But um, 
Anyways, there's uh, that's those are the two most interesting things we've been able to find in here are uh, these uh, <clears throat> these uh, orange crystals right here, and just a lot of pyrite that happens in very organized forms. And we've also been able to find some traces of uh, malachite uh, in here, but um, these two are the most abundant by far. On that note, have a good day and uh, subscribe to our channel. And um, you know, join us as we uh, reopen these abandoned mines as our uh, future careers in medicine are bound to go downward.